guys welcome back to my channel it's Jarrell on your screen with a new video in today's video I'll be teaching you how I formulate my African black soap I get a lot of comments and questions and compliments at the same time from a lot of you telling me your skin is so gorgeous your skin is so clear what do you use what is your secret this is my secret my secret is my black soap i formulate this black soap myself so i thought that i teach you guys my recipe and show you how to formulate yours so that you too can glow just like me so with that all said if this is your first time on this channel please do well to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you do not miss out on any video and also comment below if you enjoyed this video and share my videos and share this video to your friends to your family members and with that much ado let's get right into how to formulate this mind-blowing african black soap As you saw in the last clip, I already shredded my African black soap and the next soap I have here is my is my Asante carrot and my nano soap. I shredded these soaps as well. I actually grated this once. Alright, so this is my Asante carrot soap. I'm working with carrot soap because carrot has super lightning effect and this is my nano carrot and papaya soap. So these two soaps are very very effective even when used alone let alone incorporated into your black soap so these are going to be the only foreign item or foreign material i'll be adding into my black soap that's because this soap do a lot of goodness to my skin and i super love them so that is why i'm including them into my black soap if you've used this asante carrot or nano carrot and papaya soap you testify that these soaps are super super good and active when used on its own so after pouring the shredded soaps into the bowl i'll go ahead to mix mix and mix them at this point i've not incorporated liquid but i will soon be incorporating the liquid and the liquid here is our preheated water you don't need to work with hot water or cold water use uh um, um, um a, use warm water actually use warm water so this water is going to aid in the um this dissolution in dissolving the soap in general because i'm not opting for the pounding method or cooking method i prefer the soaking method because my soap comes out very very active and super good and effective as well so i'm going to soak this for a couple of hours maybe and we'll be right back okay so after two hours 30 minutes this is what we have i already needed the soap i was needing it i you know breaking the um the soap particles off off camera just to speed up the process but when it is time for mixing your soap please do well to wear hand gloves to protect your skin okay just wear your gloves to protect your skin and here is the soap well needed and mixed thoroughly so now it's time for us to be incorporating our other ingredients so the first ingredient i have in this bowl is a combination of my sandalwood powder my turmeric powder my orange peel my cam wood powder my neem powder and rice powder i added this all up together just to speed up the process and all these powders have various um various effects on the skin okay so orange peel helps in exfoliating the skin our uh, calm wood powder also eradicates acne dark spots eczema and skin infections and our uh, neem powder has its numerous skin benefits it treats as acne and our rice powder helps in exfoliating and also lightens up the skin of course our turmeric powder is for skin lightening and basically that's the importance of adding these powders into your black soap 
so guys the list of ingredients and measurements will be in the description box do well to check out the description box for the list of them so guys i'll be adding these soaps as well into my mixing bowl the first pink soap you see is my ozone pink soap and this ozone pink soap helps act as an antioxidant and protect the skin from free radicals that causes aging it helps brighten up the skin it polishes and tones the skin so it's important especially as a light skinned person it's important when in co and when compounding or formulating your black soap you have the pink ozone soap the next soap i have is my ghana white ball it helps the black soap lather well okay so if you want your black soap to lather just include this ghana white ball it helps it lather well So guys, the next soap I have is my Koli Koli or my anti-pimple soap. This soap is super effective for treating ringworm, for treating acne or pimple and as well eczema. So the next soap I have here as well is my green ball soap, which helps eradicate stretch mark. So guys, the next thing I'll be adding into my mixing bowl is my oatmeal powder. It has exfoliating properties. I love a soap that has both whitening and exfoliating properties. Even without you having to use the scrub in the shower, this is going to exfoliate your skin real good. Okay, so the next thing I'll be adding as well is my brown sugar for additional exfoliating. Like I said, I don't like a soap that just lightens you up or whitens you up. I love a soap that will do the job of exfoliating and at the same time whitening you up so that is why i'm adding the oatmeal and the sugar inside my black soap but you can skip this step if you're not interested for me i love 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 it and that is why i'm adding it into my black soap so guys the next thing i'll be adding is my cinnamon powder cinnamon decreases aging it treats hyperpigmentation it treats acne and lightens up the skin so you cannot be formulating a black soap without adding cinnamon into your black soap it is super super effective on the skin and you cannot miss out on this part all right so the next thing i'll be adding now is my honey honey has moisturizing and healing effect so you cannot do without adding honey into your black soap it just brings back the glow retains moisture and treats any other skin infection that may arise so honey is honey is a healer i don't know if you guys have heard that Honey heals a lot of things and it is super effective on our skin. The next I have here is my rose water. Rose water has certain effect, treats sunburn, treats hyperpigmentation. So I cannot be formulating a black soap without adding rose water. Okay, so just add rose water into your black soap. It makes all the difference. so guys the next thing i'll be adding into my black soap is my aloe vera i cannot be formulating a black soap without aloe vera so aloe vera has numerous skin benefits such as fading dark spots and treat stretch marks suits sunburn and slows down sign of aging so it is a must have in my black soap formulation so i'm going to proceed to knead as i mix i try to knead the soap is that kneading or mixing or pounding with my fist but anyhow i'm giving this soap a fist work so that it can start dissolving and melting and now it's time to add my oils for my oils i'll be adding my sunflower oil this oil is super super effective in your black soap because sunflower oil suits the skin and restores hydration it prevents signs of aging all right so i do not want to be looking like a 40 year 
40 years old when i'm still pretty young so i must add these oils into my black soap so the next is my almond oil almond oil has a lot of benefits for the skin it treats it treats skin conditions like eczema soothes dry skin and restores moisture so i want my skin to be looking super moisturized while using my black soap even without having to apply physical cream without having to apply the store-bought cream or anything you apply as cream my skin is still going to come out of the bathroom looking super glowy and moisturized just with the black soap alone all right so the next i'm going to be adding now is my grapeseed oil this is the boss amongst all i super love this oil not just about its sweet fragrance but it has numerous skin benefits like combating breakouts evens out the skin tone and restores moisture i'm still hammering about moisture your skin must be super moisturized when using black soap and i can't do without that in my black soap so next i'm going to start feasting my soap like i said this is not the cooking or pounding method this is the feasting method so i'm breaking the solid particles of the soap with my fist and when i'm done doing that i this i took it took about 48 hours for the soap to begin to come together like begin to solidify so that is why it's important for you to break it thoroughly when you break it thoroughly you will notice that after a while the soap begins to solidify again and now it is time for you to package your soap and put it on your bathroom shelf so i left the soap for 48 hours that is two days for it to solidify and after 48 hours i packaged my soap and this is how the soap turned out super smooth i can't believe that i did this with just my fist all right this is my best way of making my black soap i love using the soaking method this works very well for me and makes the product come out very effective right so that is my black soap and that is the only thing i do on my skin that is the only soap i apply on my skin and it has left me with this glow with this radiance that you guys cannot just swallow when you see me on your screen you will always ask what are you applying on your skin this is my magic this is the magic i've been able to pour out my heart to answer your question with just one video this is the magic i do to my skin this is why my skin looks super hydrated super clear beautiful and you don't see knuckles and any of those imperfections on my skin this is a soap that is doing the magic and this soap is non-bleaching if you want to bleach this soap is not for you okay so this is basically what i do on my skin this is a soap that has been doing the magic for me so far we've gotten to the end of this video if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel do not forget to comment and share and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye be well